Welcome to KCF Academy. I am Fleet Exo Vellari, and this is the first part in a tutorial series I will be making for Star Trek Online. Uh, not sure how many parts will there be, uh, maybe 10 or so, but in this first part we'll be going over the very beginning, which is the character creator. In upcoming parts I will be going over the game setting stuff, uh, user interface, chat windows, key points, things like that, and then in the more specific things like fleet facilities, uh, social hub worlds in the game, uh, things of that nature. Maybe something uh, for builds and sh ship builds, but we shall see. And this being, if you're completely new to the game, you obviously don't have this many characters ready-made or even this many slots. I think it's like four or five slots. Uh, if you haven't bought any, so I'll be I'll show a picture somewhere here, so you can buy more character slots. Uh, I'm mostly Federation player myself. I only have one that is on the KDF side, which is this one, which is also my Delta recruit character, which is this little symbol here. Uh, it's a special character that came with the Delta expansion, and which unlocks bonuses to every other character in, on my account. I think the other ones are uh, this one, I think. Yes. And uh, uh, this one, I think. So there are three. So the Federation, the KDF, and the Romulan one. Other special ones are this one here, which is a temporal agent, and this one here, which is a gamma recruit. This is the only uh, sort of recruit event that has been rerun so far twice. These haven't been, but if there ever is a rerun, it's a good idea to make characters like this, because it benefits all your other characters. But that's not possible until the rerun happens or doesn't happen. But keep an eye on that. Let's go and start looking at the, the new character creation. The first thing to choose is the faction, and unfortunately the game isn't very specific on what faction means in Star Trek Online, because it shows you that, that there are six, but actually there are only two, which is the Klingon Defense Force and the Starfleet. These other Starfleet options are from different timelines, so the original series and the new Discovery timeline series. But these are always Starfleet, no matter what. Romulan and a Dominion always chooses, uh, after their tutorial, whether they are Klingon Defense Force or Starfleet aligned. But other than that, they do not have their own full faction, which is uh, fleets, which is the Star Trek equivalent of a guild, and other stuff like that. So only the Klingon Defense Force and Starfleet are the fully fledged factions, which are sort of uh, quote, un uh, in opposition to each other, so they cannot directly interact and dif have different fleets and different homeworlds and things like that. Uh, that sort of current timeline for Star Trek Online is 2410, but as you can see this one starts at 2409, but currently we are in 2410. Uh, the TOS is something much earlier, 2270. Oh, actually it's... Oh, that's the timeline for that, and Discover is somewhat a little bit earlier, but as you can see, these are slightly, slightly in a sort of not compatible to, with each other. But that's that's just how the TV series goes. Uh, the Dominion is sort of 24, 2010 as well, and I think Romulan is 2409 as well. So these are sort of current timeline. Uh, other than the faction, KDA for Starfleet, uh, there really isn't anything other to consider, which is a matter of choice. But for the highest DPS potential, uh, the Romulan faction is the choice for you in that case. And specifically, if we go a little bit further, you want the Romulan kind, not the Riemann kind. This has the highest DPS potential because of the Racial trait, which is a Romulan operative, 
but not only that, as a Romulan you can have a full complement of five bridge crew officers, which are also Romulan, that have a trait uh, superior Romulan operative, and that stacks up. So as a Romulan you can have up to five of those, whereas the other factions typically have a maximum of, of two, or two or three, depending on the ship type. But that's the highest DPS potential in the game. Other things obviously matter, but that's the highest potential. Uh, Starfleet has by far the most sort of race options or species options uh, in the game. So let's start with that and go further than that. So species for uh, Starfleet are human, Andorian, Majoran, Bensite, Metasoid, Bolian, Ferengi, Join Trill, but I think this is a purchase option, so it's not there uh, from the from the start. The Klingon as well is a purchase option for the Federation, so the quote dwarf character if you want it, if you like. Liberated Borg, this is a lifetime subscriber perk only, this cannot be bought separately. Packlet, Rigelian, Saurian, Talaxian. Uh, this one might also be a purchase option, I'm not quite sure, but it certainly came with the Delta expansion. Tellarite, sort of thrill, the non-joint kind, Falcon, and Alien. And Alien is the fully customizable uh, species option, if you prefer that. Uh, what's different, other than the full customization visually, is that Aliens have 10 free of choice traits, whereas every other race have nine free of choice and one which is specific to that species. The alien has no nothing specific but it has a one extra free choice. Uh, gender doesn't really matter in the game because there's no direct interaction between your bridge crew anyway so and there are no romance options like in some other MMOs so this is more of a personal choice kind of thing. It doesn't doesn't really matter. And in some species cases there isn't even an option for a female, for example on the Klingon Defense Force side, the Gorn or the Lethian, or the Nazgan, do not have the gender option at all. Uh, Klingon obviously have the King Klingon one, Joint Drill as well, Liberated Borg again, Orion, and the Talaxian again. And of course the alien customers customizable option. Uh, Romulan, I think it was shown before, doesn't have many options. Has the Romulan and the Reman, uh, which is if possibly if you like to cloak a lot, this might be a good option, but not as important as the Romulan one for TPS. Liberated Borg again. TOS Starfleet. 23rd century human, but this is basically the same as the uh, sort of present day human Andorian. This is visually slightly different. The ear, ears or whatever these are are slightly further back. The sort of present day version has them somewhere here on the forehead. Tellarite has the proper pick nose as it should. And a Vulcan. Dominion. For free, this only has the Jemadar option. Vanguard is a uh, purchasable option, and there's also a Cardassian option, but I don't have that myself, so it doesn't show, but there's, there's that as well. Cardassian is not bad for space, uh, sort of DPS either. Discovery Starfleet only has human, Vulcan, and human options. Let's go with Starfleet. After you've chosen your species and gender, next is the career option. And this is this kind of typical MMO trifecta of damage, heal, and su support. But it's not quite as important in this game because you can be a tactical officer and fly a science ship, or vice versa. So it's not quite as rigid. And uh, full-on tank 
doesn't really even exist in the game properly. But other than that, it's basically damage dealer, uh, space magic kind of thing, and the support class, and kind of tank class, but not really. Let's go with that. And we get into the visual customization. There are presets here, so if you're new to the game and just want to get started, you can pick something here. Even the face can be changed later in the game, so it doesn't, doesn't lock in. More options here. Color. And even the advanced menu, where everything is adjustable. And this is the menu that you use when you're in an in-game tailor somewhere in the... Some, in some, some star press, there's more than one place you can do that. So this is the same menu you see there. For body, also everything is changeable. You can make a fat guy if you like. Presets available. Height goes from 5.6 to 6.4. This is stance means your idle animation. So when if you're just standing still, this is what it what it uh, animates. Your standard. Brawler, brawler, creature, maybe for the alien types, not so much for human. Rough, relaxed, stern, swagger, thoughtful. And Twitch. For female, there's a couple of more. Uh, there's the feminine. Uh, cute. And uh, seductive. Let's go with. Let's go with stern. Change my face, but it doesn't matter. Standard uniform options, there aren't that many available uh, for free. The Odyssey is sort of the uh, Star Trek Online official version. And, uh, and there are a few others which are available for free. But mostly cost, uh, costumes are purchase options. Uh, and this comes from the Gem Magar, so this might not be even, even be an option for you. Let's go with Standard Odyssey. Again, the full customization option available on the tutorial. Uh, when you're creating a character, most of these are uh, locked out. There are far, far more options available in the game when you level up. I can show a picture of that, what that means. Now, there's most, well, almost nothing here available. But you get for free options as well. And the purchasable custom options, obviously too. But from the start, there aren't, there isn't that much here. The advanced options. And lastly, you choose your name. And mostly, it's just this that gets used. The from the formal name, name is hardly ever used in the game. Maybe you can you see it once or twice in, in sort of the dialogue windows and things like that. So this it, it even says options here. But if you want your sort of last name visible in chat windows and things like that, you have a, you have a better option of just adding it here. Then this will show in chat windows and things like that. This doesn't. Other than other than that, this is uh, fully optional anyway. Ship name doesn't really matter. This will only be the first ship that you build in the game, you'll get a new new ship in a few hours anyway, it doesn't really matter that much. Let's see some of the non-federation customization options as well. For example, the Gorn, which I think is the sort of biggest species you can have in the game. 
size it goes from 64 to 87. This is quite towering in the game. And you can make this well that doesn't actually change all that much. But what I think is the nicest thing about this is that you can use the 23rd century version as well. It's kinda nice I think, if you like. Uniform options are obviously the Kling Klingon variants. Maybe the Romulan. There you go. Literally, you can spend hours and hours on the character creator. Particularly if you pick the alien option. Let's go with Starfleet and Alien. This has so much customization. Uh, it's, it's almost sky is the limit with this one. It's very, very limited. Uh, few limits on what can be done. Almost unlimited, you could spend, as I said, hours and hours customizing your alien species. That's it for the character creator. Stay tuned for the next part of the Star Trek Online tutorials. This has been Exo Velleri, uh, see you soon. Bye bye.